was trying to jump over the fence. They yeah, already bit my shoe off, my sock, most of my pant. That's when they got, they got my skin. It was horrible. Jumped in a park, the victim of a vicious dog attack speaks out about his ordeal. The dogs, two of them on the loose, go on a rampage. They mauled a man and his elderly mother. KTLA's Brandy hit live at a park in Wilmington where the animals attacked. Brandy. The victims described this as a dog mauling spree that started a couple of blocks away and ended up here on this playground and park with several people being bitten over and over again. It was horrible, very horrible. I actually thought they weren't going to stop. Alfredo Ramos and his 71 year old mother, Rita Torres, are covered in bite wounds from their arms to their legs and feet. <laughs> they say the neighbor's boxer bulldog mix and pit bull terrier mix were loose in the street and went after them on Tuesday as they were walking Alfredo's five year old son back from Wilmington Park Elementary School. I had him run home. Luckily, the dogs didn't get to see them run. She honestly felt that the dogs were going to kill both of them. Rita says one dog was at her face while another went after her leg. That's when Alfredo stepped in and took the brunt of the attack. This neighbor who helped push the dogs back with a bat took us back to the scene. They had him right here on the fence. He was trying to get over, but they wouldn't let him go. They already bit my shoe off, my sock, most of my pant. That's when they got they got my skin. That's his blood. That's, you know, he got, he got, he was pretty vicious. And it wasn't over. Neighbors say the dogs then moved on to this park packed with kids where another man was attacked before animal control showed up. We went to the dog's owner's home. Hi, are you the Anguianos? Yes. But they wouldn't give us a statement on camera. Through the door, they did say they were sorry about what had happened. Brown boxer right there. The dogs are now in quarantine, and Alfredo's family is home recovering with more than 100 stitches. I just want justice. Just justice. What's justice for you? For the dogs to be put to sleep because I could actually hurt, hurt someone else. Alfredo says the owners of the dogs have not tried contacting him. He says his family is considering a lawsuit, but they haven't made a decision just yet. Live in Wilmington, Brandy Hit, KTLA 5 News.